You're watching Hexus TV and welcome back to this extreme overclocking session with Benchtech UK. Paul Watkinson is here and um, you've gone and built this, this is, this is the liquid nitrogen rig that we're going to be using now, is it? Yes. Okay, so can you just explain to us, um, this is basically the same componentry that we had when we were overclocking on air. That's correct. Except for this big thing here. That's right. So it's a, uh, basically a copper pot. Right. Um, I don't know if you can see there, it's a big massive yep. solid copper with basically been... Um, channeled out in the middle, and that yeah. is where we pour our rail into. Okay, this so what's, what's, what's this around the outside? Um, well, this is a bit of tissue, yeah, but what's yeah. that covering up? That's covering up uh, some uh, inch thick neoprene rubber. Right. Um, it's basically like this, you know, which okay. basically um, will keep the cold within. Oh, it's insulating the pot itself? Yes, right. basically, and stop any cold coming out and moisture forming okay. with the hot air. The tissue is for it's just condensation? To catch it, yeah, catch any condensation right. or moisture. Well, what about right down the bottom? Because obviously you can't run the tissue all the way no, right down the bottom. How are you protecting the board from well, any we, conversation we, we down there? We see there that we, uh, we use this uh, basically artist uh, eraser. It's oh, like okay, a, yeah, like yeah, yeah the, 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 the moldable rubber. That's it, you see right. we push that in. Um, I, I first off started off with a bit of electrical tape around the caps. Yep. So just to form a seal and then I used... Uh, so there's like this, a little basin of that's it, rubber in there? of rubber and then uh -huh. a layer of neoprene on top of that with a hole cut out so the pot sits in. Okay. There's two different methods. Um, Basically, this is sort of one of the first times I've used this eraser, which is right. very clean and easy. Or we've got this uh, liquid electrical tape. Okay. And all this is, is just like a liquid paint, basically, that you can see. And that dries like a rubber. So that's a bit like the uh, bitumen you put on the underside yeah. for your car yeah. or something it's, like that. Here's one of the uh, old boards I did, right. um, the old Rampage. And you can see there on the back, this is a... Uh, completely dry and rubber and it's covered all the electrical components right. so if that gets any water on there or anything it's nothing it's going to short okay you know and around the socket area right okay but it doesn't make the ball look very pretty no that's right that's hints right that's hence, hence going for this stuff because you can clean it right off can you yeah you can clean yeah. it straight off and it so, looks so like if you do low. play something you can just clean it up rma it and everyone's happy well i don't think they'd be too happy but uh I just think at the end of that makes the board look nice, you know. <laughs> when you want to stick it back in a case um, okay. for a later date. So I so see you've got your highly technical, what is that, a bit of a milk carton? Yeah, something like that, cut down from right. my funnel. And that just sits in there and uh, stops any splashes. Okay, so we're ready, we're ready to uh, pour the nitrogen. Uh, how cold is it? Um, nitrogen is extremely cold. It goes down to minus 197 point. Two Celsius, I believe. 197.2. Yep. So, but obviously, we're not going to get that cold with this no, board. No, um, boards and chips have uh, a different thermal cutout point. Right. I.e., when they get too hot, they will shut down. The same goes for when they get too cold, they will just lock up or shut right. down. Okay. Um, we will have to boot into windows and find the, the thermal threshold, right. gradually bringing the pot down nice and gently with the temperature and see where it freezes up, basically. So then we know what temperature we can yeah, work that, around. That could be minus 80, it could be. Minus 170. Okay, um, and obviously working with liquid nitrogen, it's not the safest thing in the world. It's, it's not hugely dangerous, but it's also not something you want to muck around with. It's is extremely, it? extremely dangerous. Um, okay, it's extremely, extremely dangerous. Then. All right, so it is extremely, extremely dangerous. It is. Um, I, I won't uh, kid you. Everybody's seen the Terminator. Yeah. What they see is that, there. Is if, that true? That is true. If uh, you basically had enough liquid nitrogen, um, you stood in it and went to walk away, your legs would shatter. I've got here, as you see, a piece of rubber. Yeah. So we're down to what temperature now? Uh, minus 26 at the moment. So that's ready to go really, isn't it? Um, well it is and it isn't. I'm going to leave windows at stock. Okay. And I'm going to boot up now. Right. Um, stock voltages, stock settings, because what we need to find out is where the board is going to fall over. Right. I.e. with the coldness, yeah. Okay. Everything has a, 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 a crush This point. is basically setting our cold limit. Yes. And then from there on, yeah, when we, it, can, when work we can then start overclocking. Yes. Yeah, gotcha. Can I pour this one? Yeah, you can have a go now. So how, how, how much am I going to stick in? Just gently pour it. Okay, you tell me when. Keep going. That'll do you. Oh, it's easy, that. I can do this. Yeah, you can have a go. Yeah, sweet. Just don't drink it. Don't think it's a mess. That's the thing, you don't want to forget, sort of like reach over and think, oh, where's my can of Coke? How am I doing? That's it. So this is this stuff conductive, though? No. So if some spills onto the board or something like that, it, we haven't got to worry about that. No. It's literally just the condensation it causes. Yes, that's correct. Okay. And the condensation is obviously the moisture, and yeah. that is what causes the problem. So it hasn't speeded up Vista running yet, though? No. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Bill Gates. A bit more? Yeah, yeah, keep it going now. 
you just got to sort of keep pouring it now until you see the uh, the level of sort of the top of the plastic. And once it's boiled down, just keep pouring it again. Oh, what? So you want me to fill it right up now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can't help but smile because this is actually quite cool. Oh, there we are. It's nice, isn't it? You see, it's just coming over the side, and that's why we've got this paper on there just to catch any of those. So that, that's a polite way of saying you just overfilled it, you bet. Well, yeah, <laughs> basically. But, so, uh, so what, what, what are we reading now on the old temperature? Um, we're reading minus 49, uh, and I'm just sort of moving the mouse about now and then. And, uh, just making sure that... Yeah, the, we're still in windows. That's fine. Blimey, that's almost down to the bottom already. Yeah, it doesn't take long. But once we've got that pot at the, you know, minus 100... It won't go away so quick. No. We'll have to keep topping up again because obviously we've got the heat source, you know, in the processor, but... Uh, yeah, now you, you were telling me earlier off camera about um, sort of like whether or not to sort of like limit the amount of overclock to force sort of uh, more um, skill into the whole sort of like world record thing. Yeah, what I'd really like to see um, is, say, a benchmark. You know, if there's a processor that can do five gig, yeah, with liquid nitrogen or, or so-called, so um, then limit that overclock. I'd like to see a benchmark written that would can measure the exact overclock that you've been set so there could be no cheating going on, that everybody run at five gig. Right. Because it's like having a, a, a Ferrari, yeah, and one of the, the back runners in F1. He's got no chance against the guy who's got the supreme car, and the same goes with processors. If a guy's got a supreme chip that does six gig, and I've only got the one that does five gig, or vice versa, then the other person's got an extreme advantage right. in not just one benchmark, but the whole thing. So basically what you're saying is a bit like Formula Ford, limit it so that yeah. everybody runs the same. So in Formula Ford, all the cars are the same, and it's all about the driver, so this is all about the skill All about the tweaking, yeah. liquid nitrogen, set up, everything, the operating system, you know, um, I think we're just about out on this one. That's fine. That way, it, it will just show a true sort of champion in the ranking thing. Should we have the, gloves on for this? Um, BOC recommends that you wear eye protection and, and gloves. But after all, you've been doing it so long. Oh, well, all of two minutes? Yeah. And we can see we're at minus 93, and that's still going. <laughs> I'm, gl I'm, glad, I'm, glad, I'm glad that we're following the BOC guidelines publicly. So, so what, what are we running at now? Uh, minus 107, minus 108. Because your plastic cup's gone rock solid now. Yeah, that's fine. 109. We'll just move that mass, just to keep... Just must keep moving that, just to make sure that Windows hasn't froze. So we are, we are trying to take it as far as we can yeah. and freeze it? Yeah, that could be, like I say, minus 110, 120. Oh, it could go it. right up to minus 190. So I'll keep wiggling the mouse and... Yeah. What are we down to now? Uh, minus 120. So where, where do you think this ball is going to go? I would say anything over 150 would be exceptionally outstanding. Um, I've never seen the motherboard go past minus 150. So before. as as we approach sort of like the 140, 150 mark, should I not add so much that we don't over chill it once it locks? Yes, you, you've got that aspects as well. Um, but again, we restart Windows and Windows or I should I say the system won't want to restart. Right. Yeah, the fans will spin up and then they're shut down. Right. And all we do is gently warm that pot. Okay. Um, what, and kettle of boiling water? No, nice heat gun, oh, gentle okay. heat. Again, we don't want to put extreme heat on. Um, we're at 1.30 now. 1.30. This is, this is Rich, also part of the Bench Tech UK team. Hello. Say hello to your mum. <laughs> I'm a brother. <laughs> right, so I'll, I'll, I'll pour and you can do the mouse. I was just a bit worried about doing that, you yeah. know? Pouring it up my own arm, so I can pour it over Rich's lap instead. That's it. It's gone. I didn't do anything. One thirty-eight, and that's it. One thirty-eight. That's it. So, is, is so that, that could be motherboard. It could be processor. Um, it's very, very difficult to identify where that problem is. Okay, but so, so, so we know now. As long as we keep above one thirty-eight, yeah, we but should be. We below. Should be right. uh, yeah, above. Above. Temperature, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Above, above one thirty-eight, we should be all right. Yeah. yeah. And then, obviously, um, that threshold is going to move slightly because we're going to be increasing voltages, which is going right. to make things a lot warmer throughout the whole board, the processor. Yeah, so, so we might be able to go beyond yeah. 138 because other parts of the board are warm. Absolutely. It's fantastic. So now it's just a case of waiting for this so to warm up. So, as yeah? you can see, that, that won't warm up now. So I've got 
a magic gun, <laughs> which will basically take that off and now warm that pot up. That's the opposite of what we've just been doing. And basically bring it from minus 147, which it's gone down to, and see where it starts. Right. Okay, well, check out Serial Hexes TV, because we are going to be warming up our super chilled pot. CPU pot to then chill it after we've warmed it. 